Hey, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. It is an absolutely gorgeous morning out here. Um, trying to unbury myself, just got back from vacation. In the morning, I like to get up, you know, especially gorgeous morning like this and, and do some reflecting and thinking and anyway, working on some reviews. And some questions popped to mind. Do you like quality tactical optics? Do you like affordable prices? Do you like tough as nails, bomb proof, can run over it with a truck? Do you like platinum, ironclad, awesome guarantees, money back? If I don't like it, I can send it back. 50,000 round warranties. If you answer yes to any of those, the next question is, have you checked out Swamp Fox? If not, you might want to check them out. So this is my second Swamp Fox review. And I got to say the first one really impressed me. Guys, I can't say it enough. Never overlook a company just because you haven't heard of them or you're not familiar with them. Tell it looks promising, guys. Let's see what we can do with this. <laughs> Be careful what you ask for. Give her the drop. Freezer is frozen. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, if you follow my channel, you know that I like the best bang for the buck. That's the whole idea behind my crazy, stupid deals. If you haven't checked that out, you should. You sub, you sub on there, and then when I find crazy, stupid deals, I blast them out. Anyway, best bang for buck. So when it, so when it comes to optics, I'm always looking for QPC. Quality, performance, and cost. Is Swamp Fox going to have my QPC? Let's find out. Let's take a quick look at the specs and tech and see what we've got here. Okay, so just real quick here so you see what you get if you get the swamp fox blade okay cleaning cloth instructions does come with a kill flash yeah i like that screws in and of course all the tools everything we need for mounting and then the optic it itself battery goes in here it's got the lens protectors this is a prismatic. We have the adjustable focus here, brightness up and down, and then of course the half MOA click. I like this. These are both attached here, so we're not gonna lose these. And then we can just turn it over and you have that for doing the click adjustment. It's solid, guys. Uh, real impressed. Let's get this mounted and start having some fun. Okay, the sun's kind of come up. We got a beautiful day for shooting. Absolutely no breeze. I'm hoping we're going to be banging on. Well, I know we're going to be banging on out there at 300 easily with the blade. What I want to do now is tighten up my groups, finish this off. I want to give a special thanks to Federal for providing all the ammo for this review. I've been having great luck. 
with that uh, the foxtrot mic here is loving it we got some really tight groups last night when i zeroed it in real quick i want to show you what i'm seeing for okay. i got i got a really nice image here now i'm going to refer you back to the specs and tech so you can see how to use that that brc right now i just want to get it zeroed and then we'll test those out using this federal ammo i'll go down um, i've got a new sig buckmaster rangefinder that i haven't tried out yet we'll test that out we'll do the 5 10 15 and then of course we're zeroing here at 50 and then we'll reach out 200 and we'll see how far we can go with this Okay, so you can see last night before I went to bed, I started over here, was doing the clicks, and that's where I ended. And it was about 8 o'clock, said, time to go to bed. Got up this morning, and I just did those. That's nice, guys. I mean, one, two, three, four, five shots. Sweet. Let's, uh, let's check the BRC and, and then move out at some distance. I forget. The elevation had ever so slightly palpable and audible clicks. The windage, however, did not. That is something that I would like to see. I'm kind of a snob when it comes to my optics. Um, I like to know specifically and exactly each time I get a click. And as far as the windage, at least for me, I wasn't feeling it and I wasn't hearing it. Um, and the elevation, it, it could be a little bit better, but check. Okay, real quick, because we don't have any wind, I want to test this as is without a magnifier, standing at some distance. We're going to reach out down there at 200 yards, see what uh, see what I can do, and then uh, and then we'll maybe we'll use the magnifier and we'll go back at, at 200 if I'm not hitting stuff. But we're going to see how far we can reach out up that hill with it. Let's. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to tell with the noise I, I think i was hitting it but we'll find out okay. you i flipped over the magnifier and man that it is it is crystal clear let's see how fast we can bang on that 200 yard target um i love this fox shot mic i do not have a custom trigger in here it's got a mil spec it's heavy it's like an eight pound trigger pull so uh let's see what we can do with that <laughs> all right uh that was way too easy that's like shooting fish in a barrel oh which reminds me I got a, a cool video you might be interested in regarding fish and my KSG. Okay, so I was down here early. I've got a huge bluegill problem. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. And I had an idea. Let's reach up there and do 300. I don't think we'll have any problem. I'm not sure how many rounds I got left, not many. There, I know I hit it that one. Okay, I know this, <laughs> this is kind of close. This is really weird for me to be shooting this close. Um, for me, close is 100 yards anyway. Let's just, uh, let's see how this does here. I'm gonna use that bottom hash mark or the little thing on the, the RB or the BRC and let's just see how it does. <laughs> okay, basically, um, just zoom in here for you. Okay, check this Bullet out. Rise reticle. 
I don't know, guys. Does that work for you? That, that was, uh, I think, four shots. Let's move back to 10. Okay, so here we are at 10. Let's give this a go. <laughs> I'd say that one works too. All right, check it out. So far, proof is in the pudding, man. I ain't kidding. Let's move back to the 15. Okay, last one. Let's check this at 15 here. Hey, we're clear. Check it out. Don't spout a lot about products. I always kind of leave it up to you. But I gotta say, right now, I am I am just really impressed with this. What I want to do now is I'm gonna take it off and we are gonna torture test it. Give her the drop. About 17 feet. It's dropped it up there. And we're not going to really be able to tell much. It's still on. Now, guys, normally I put things in my hot tub, but just as the name, the hot tub has been 104 degrees. So we're going to have to improvise, adapt, and overcome. And down there, I have a fish barrel that's at least a meter deep. I'll show you, and we're going to drop this in there for a half an hour. Okay, so we're down here. Another part of my business, aside from reviewing firearms, is I raise fish. And that is a 50-gallon drum. I'll show you. It's perforated. It actually has fish in it. We're just going to toss this in there. It's at least three feet deep. Now, the interesting thing will be when I pull it out, you'll see the fish that I got in there. All right. Start the clock. All right. Let's pull it out. Okay. Well, we're going to have to wash it off. But as you can see, it was in there. I got it washed off. Aside from smelling maybe a little fishy, it would seem to be intact. Uh, I'll dry it off, do closer inspection, and then we're going to freeze it solid. And assuming that we do not have any breach of the seal or any water or anything, we will put it back on and see how it holds zero. Just freezer. Good and solid. All right, well, it ought to be good and frozen. And that it is, and it's still on. All right. We just need to thaw it out and then get it mounted just in case there was any question as to how frozen this is that is frozen folks if you're enjoying this review do you follow my channel would you be willing to help support the channel if it costs you nothing not a zip zero hit that subscribe button that does as much as anything so hit that button I just got a new web page, Home of the Crazy Stupid Deals. You have to check it out. You will be shocked to see some of the deals that I find. You can now subscribe to be notified immediately when I find them. Cost you nothing. I did this for those of you that don't like Facebook. If you do follow Facebook, come check me out and follow me there too. If you ever shop on Amazon, simply go in through my links below in the description. Anything and everything you purchase helps support the channel. Going through my links and it costs you nothing. You can literally buy toilet paper, and this helps support the channel. Check out my company picks, the companies I purchase most often from and find most of my crazy, stupid deals on. Using these links supports the channel and keeps the reviews coming. While you're there, check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself what folks are saying about them. Bottom line, check out my webpage. Lots of good stuff there, and doing so helps support the channel. Thanks for your support. I couldn't do this without you. Okay, so you saw the torture test. I put it back on in the exact same spot. We're just going to reach out at 200. My philosophy is, is if I do all that, it, it passed anyway. As far as I can tell, there's absolutely, uh, you know, no break of the seal. There's no condensation. There's no water or anything inside. If I can just bang away at the steel at 200, then I'd say we're good to go.
I would say that that's a pass. You know what, though? I got an idea. Swamp Fox has proven to be exceptionally tough. It passed, okay? That torture test has defeated a lot of optics, a lot of well-known optics. How far can we go with this? Let's take it to another level. Do you think of what I'm thinking? That gets us up about 25 feet. And then if I give it a little loft, we easily can get over 30 feet. Now we're talking some serious G's and some serious fours, more than just dropping it, you know, from the second story deck. Let's give it a go. Yeah, we're getting up here because we're over the tops of quite a few of these trees. <laughs> and I'm gonna give this a little bit of a lift. All right, gonna try not to hit my four-wheeler there, but I wanna give this some loft. That was well over 30 feet. Guys, I had to go back and see where it went to. Oh, yeah. Well, let's check it out. All right, so you've seen everything that we have just done to this. So we threw it up in the air, got, you know, 37 feet, ran over it with the, the ATV, the typical torture test. So some of you might be thinking, yeah, but hey, you know, have you broke the seal? Is it still watertight? We're going to find out. All right, considering that is... Very good. That, I don't think I hit it there. That last torture test. Might have got the zero off a little bit. Got some paper up over there. Let's uh, let's see where it's at. That last drop from about 35 feet and then running over it with the ATV. It did get off our zero a little bit. I'm going to make a few adjustments and see if we can get right back on to what we were doing. Okay, so <laughs> we're, we're back in business. You know, it was over here. Adjusted just a little bit too far. Came here. And then I did two more clicks. Guys, we're solid. Um, you know, let's just quick bang at 200 yards. Uh, you know, fire off a little salvo and make sure we're good to go. Always wanted to do that I just never felt that I had an optic tough enough that I could do that with you can see the tire treads on there all right yeah who hasn't wanted to run over an optic with a truck let's uh, see how it bangs at 200 <laughs> there you go guys it is what it is you decide what you think i hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful if so make sure and hit that subscribe button that really does help more than anything else if you haven't checked out my web page come check it out the crazy stupid deals when i find crazy stupid deals prices sales i send that out uh, people find it really helpful anyway until next time Happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to guns and gun safety. And remember, every time we're out at the range and we're getting some trigger time and we're having some fun, we are ambassadors for the Second Amendment. So be a safe and responsible gun owner.